What's going on guys, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to, you know, use some effects on paint.net. Now this um, tutorial will be using plugins, um, so if you need to download the plugins, please go over to the paint.net forums and download them. If you don't know which plugins to get, please leave a comment down below and I'll let you guys know. So guys, I'm going to be showing you how to create this type of, you know, embossed stone text. Now I'm going to do this in more of a logo form than just text. Um, so make sure you've already got your logo made. Now you can just use text and do it the same way as what I'm going to show you. So what we're going to want to do is hit file and then new. And I'd say maybe um, 2000 pixels as per usual by 2000 pixels. And then click enter. And then this is our blank canvas. Now we're going to want to go into layers, import from file. And then we're going to find our design that we want. So guys, I've opened up my texture here. And we're just going to want to make it the same size as our image. And then we're just going to want to click off it. And this is going to be our background. So let's just delete this background here. And then we click layers, import from file. And we will import um, our logo. So if we just make the logo the same size as well. Just like that. Okay. So now we have this logo. And let's just make about three of these logos by clicking on this button here, guys, which is duplicate layer. So we've got three of them. Now what we're going to want to do, guys, is go onto this texture and duplicate that and bring it all the way to the top. And as we can now see, we see nothing. So this um, layer here, which is just one of our logos, you can really use any. You're going to want to click that layer, click your magic wand tool and just click the corner. And as you can see, that highlights everything other than our logo. Now, if um, you want to take away um, parts that are inside the logo, if you have gaps, you can obviously hold control and click everything separately. Or you can just hold shift and click on the background and it will take everything away other than the logo. Once that is done, guys, we are just going to want to click back on our top texture and then click delete. And now, as you can see, we have our logo here, which is also made out of stone, as you guys can see. Now, I'm sorry this stone texture isn't the best quality, but this is what we're just going to use just for the tutorial purpose. Um, so once that is done, guys, um, we are going to want to go down to this one, which is our um, bottom logo, which is the black one. We will click on effects, go over to Blair, and then I believe it is this Blair here, which is Gaussian Blair, I, I think it's called. So we'll click that, leave it at about 12 and click OK. And now just click effects and keep repeating it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, which one of them things, guys? I've tried it before by just turning the blur right the way up at the start, but it doesn't have the same effect as I'll show you here. And um, let's see if it might not work. But if we just bring it up, the blur just kind of looks too much. So we're just going to put it back on 12, click OK. So that's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And when we'll just do one more for 20. Um, and I know it, it's a long process just clicking that, but that is the best way I've figured out how to do it. Okay, guys, so next of all, we will go on to the layer just above that. And we will click on adjustments. Hang on, sorry guys. Adjustments. And then invert the colours. So that turns it white as you guys can see there. And then when we're on this, we are going to do the exact same thing 20 times. One, two, three. And I'll be back when that is done, guys. Okay, guys, so once it's done, as you can see, you can barely see anything. You can just see a little bit of a blur around the edges, guys. So what we're going to want to do. Um, and this is where it starts to look 3D. So make sure you click on the white logo. Click this button here, which is the move of selected pixels, and just click on the screen. And then what you're going to want to do is move. Um, just click your right arrow 15 times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then up 15. Just like that. And then the bottom logo here, which I think is the darker blur. Yeah, as you can see there. We do the exact same, but go left 15, and down 15, just like that. And as you can see, it is sort of an embossed 
stone shape. Um, now, there is other things we can do here. So, let's just take this one here and drag it just to the bottom layer. And then we click on Effects, Object, and then Trail. Make sure the trail is pointing in this direction, guys. Okay, guys, so we click on to Object and then Trail. And anyway, I've just, I think I've just said this, but I didn't actually have this tech box checked. Um, sorry, this text, tech, uh, this checkbox, oh my life, this checkbox ticked. So once it is ticked, you will actually be able to see. I, I was just getting really confused. And then we'll just bring the distance out a little bit. And as you can see, this makes it look a bit more 3D. So do you know what? We're just going to put it to where it should be on 25 and 1. And then click OK. And then we also click on this layer and go back onto our Gaussian layer. And then we just blur it a little bit, guys. I'm going to go for about 16. And then click OK. And that's pretty much how you make embossed, um, you know, letters, as you can see there. And then that is my other attempt there. Now, it should really be darker colours, I think, for the texture. So, to do that, we're just going to go onto Adjustments, Brightness and Contrast. And then just turn the brightness down. And turn the contrast up a bit. And then click OK. And then we'll do the same here. Brightness and Contrast. And just like that, click OK. So obviously, guys, this isn't the most clear-looking logo. I don't really think you'd use this, you know, in making logos. But it is a good way to make 3D text. And um, I'll show you guys what I mean by that. So if I just click on this here. And then we can maybe go on to Adjustments, Brightness and Contrast. Turn the brightness all the way up. Contrast all the way down. Do the exact same here. So effects. Brightness and contrast. And click OK. As you can see, we have ourselves a 3D logo here. But we want to change you know, the colours just a little bit, guys. So if we just click colours here. Let's try out a grey. There we go. Maybe, do you know what we'll try out? Not a blue, that is disgusting. We'll just stick with a simple grey for this. Um, and then we go up here, and then we just click all of these. And as you can see, we have already got ourselves, um, you know, a 3D letter. And you can just keep changing the texture, keep changing the colours, whatever you guys think will suit it the best. Change the background up if you want. Make the background lighter. There we go, and you have yourself some 3D text. Hopefully you have learned something from this. If you have, please smash a like down below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're getting so close to 3,000 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. And I'd just like to thank you guys for half a million views. Like, half a million views on this channel is actually amazing. I didn't think, like, I could get half a million views because that is a lot and a lot of views. And um, so I'm glad to see that, you know, you guys are taking something from these tutorials. So hopefully you have enjoyed this quick little video. Bye, guys.